So yes, girl, you read right. She wants to cut it off. Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my first relaxed hair update, the first of many, because I'm trying to get my life together. I'm trying to turn things around, okay, for myself and my hair and do things right and really take my relaxed hair journey seriously. So this video is just gonna be about my relaxed hair, my journey so far, the problems I've ran into, how I like it, what am I doing going forward, and just all that jazz. So yeah, let's go ahead and get in. Before I say anything else, y'all, let me give a quick disclaimer because I do talk with my hands and y'all probably gonna peek this. Girl, she got bit by a horse. She like, she really got Ooh, bit shit. by a whole damn horse. So it ain't no fungus. I mean, I really don't know if it's infected. It was black, but now it's turning green. But that's why my finger is looking the way it look. Okay, the horse bit me. So yes, girl, you read right. She wants to cut it off. She want to cut it off, girl. Before I get into why I want to chop, chop, I'm going to go ahead and just give y'all the whole rundown backstory of my relaxed hair journey, my relaxed life, and just get y'all caught up on how we got here today. I guess I'll start all the way back, like, really my whole life with relaxers. Uh, I was a kid getting relaxers. Um, my hair broke off. When I was like a teenager maybe, that time where you're going through hormones and stuff. It's a lot of black girl story, okay? You got this chemical, you're going through puberty, and all them chemicals and all them hormones mixed together just clashes. So I had that same black girl story, unfortunately. So my hair broke off, I had to cut it in this little bowl cut. I was so sad about that. <laughs> And then I think I stopped getting relaxers when I was like 15, 16 because I started diving into weaves and braids and stuff and I just didn't do a relaxer anymore. And then it goes into my natural hair journey which is a whole nother video. And then last year, 2019, I decided to step back into relaxers. So it was a good 10 years of me being natural and then I decided to jump back onto the creamy crack, okay? I feel like me jumping back on the creamy crack really was like a new jump. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't really like a jumping back because I feel like like back in the day, my mom did my hair. And then when I was doing my hair as a teenager, I didn't know what the hell I was doing, okay? I was experimenting, fucking my hair up. Hair was broke off and all that, so I really don't feel like I ever really did a relaxer, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like me just now jumping back into relaxers is honestly all so brand new, okay? It's so different. I've never done a relaxer on myself as a hairstylist. If you don't know, I am a licensed cosmetologist. I did get a texturizer back in hair school when I had a little TWA. I did do like a comb through um, like texturizer, but that was the most I did like with um, relaxers during my whole cosmetology career during me you know being grown or whatever because i mainly you know rocked the natural even behind the chair 99 percent of my clients was natural i probably had like two to three um relaxed clients and they relaxed at home they would just come to me for like hair care and you know trims and color and stuff like that so i just feel like i really didn't get a real life experience of like relaxed life relaxed hair especially not on myself so yeah jumping back into this is definitely new i'm learning like all over again of course you learn in hair school you learn science behind it you understand the terms and stuff but it's nothing like that like you know what i'm saying you get all your experience behind the chair you get all your experience from what you really actually do so I just feel like I didn't get that so with this being brand new I definitely have made some mistakes which is why we are here today okay but hey that's what life is life is all about lessons and learning honey and growing and all of that so with that backstory out the way let's go ahead and jump into my new relaxed hair journey and what's been going on I got my notes here hold on because your girl she be forgetting stuff so my first relaxer after that 10 years of being natural was in July 2019 I used the short looks texturizer and y'all have seen that video when I first text lax or whatever I feel like that was an okay relaxer I don't really feel like it was perfect because I was going for like these text lax results and a lot of my hair like especially at the front got straight because I did the front like I don't girl I was just out here wilding out I feel like I just kind of got different results all throughout my head like the back was more curly the front was straight like girl I was going for text lax but it just was kind of like it was blurred I actually loved my results my hair was really healthy it was growing good all that bye bye and then I got pregnant with my daughter and I decided to just veto relaxers for my whole pregnancy one because my doctor at the time advised me against it and I just you know 
know, I didn't want to fight it. I didn't even want to feel like researching and seeing all the data and stuff. I just was like, hey, I can wait. So I stretched for a whole nine months. I actually ended up stretching for 11 months. So it was almost a year before I did my next one. We're gonna go ahead and fast forward to my second relaxer, which was May 14th. I used the Mazzani Butter Blend Relaxer for fine and color treated hair. So if y'all watch my most recent um, relaxer that y'all will see the reason why I even got the fine and color treated one. It was the last one on the shelf, girl. And two, I was trying to stick with like text laxing results. So I mixed that um, relaxer with conditioner and I did not like my results at all. Right then and there, I was like, you know what? I'm not fooling with this text lax and stuff. I already kind of didn't get it perfect the first time I did it, so I was just like, forget it. I'm just gonna relax again, and I just want to be straight, okay? I just wanted to be straight. I don't want to fool with no curls. I don't want to fool with no text laxing. So, because I got these super under-processed results, and the reason why it was super under process is the Mazzani relaxer for fine and color treated hair it's already a mild relaxer it already leaves behind texture so mixing that with conditioner like you just had a conditioner treatment basically like it really hardly did anything for me so this is a huge no no y'all so don't follow me you know what I'm saying don't do what I do like your mama used to tell me don't do what I do do as I say but I did double process so I double process I went back in with the Mazzani um, butter blend for fine and color treated hair I went back in on June 5th and relaxed again and I also mixed the relaxer with conditioner again I was just kind of scared about like how my hair would react I didn't know if it would break off or I didn't know if it was all gonna just melt off and I was gonna be bald when I woke up I just didn't know so I mixed it with conditioner to try to like stay safe my hair was looking good it was feeling good like it was nice and healthy it was thick after I gave birth this time around with my baby girl like my hair was just I don't even I don't even know how to say it it was just so nice like my hair had never been so like full and luscious and just it felt good like I just was in love with my hair okay the only problem I did have at the time was like staticky ends and I think that was from like over processing because I did not like my last you know few relaxers they was real raggedy okay I did not protect my previously relaxed hair I just didn't have enough research done about the relaxer I was using I just was kind of out here wilding out I picked up a few products from the hair store honey and I slapped the stuff on my head that was it <laughs> so my ends was like staticky I had to get it cut my sister cut my hair around July 4th and I think she probably took off like an inch maybe an inch and a half or something like that my hair beautiful nice full luscious like no, no problems nothing was wrong I'm enjoying my hair I'm enjoying my relaxer like everything's good right mm -hmm. and then what's next sis what yep tell them the post part yeah that part the postpartum shedding is what got me oh my god I, I thought it wasn't as bad this time but I think I was wrong because my hair thinned out so much from my postpartum shedding this go wrong like I'm still losing hair to this day it's not as bad as it like when it first started because at first I was losing clumps every time I combed it in the shower it would just be wads of hair now my shedding is not like to that extreme but it's everywhere like I'm, I'm, I'm shedding like a dog okay like when I brush my hair even when I like touch it it's just shedding like it's just, my hair is still shedding and I am oh my god my baby is seven months <gasps> wait a minute how did I miss that today my baby turned seven months today Y'all, she's growing up so fast. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. So I'm seven months postpartum. I'm still going through postpartum shedding. And I feel like I know why. Probably because I have a vitamin deficiency. Like, I have problems with my iron. I'm supposed to take iron every day and I don't listen. I'm hard-headed. That's what I get. And I probably am just lacking on other stuff in my body. I should still be on my prenatal, which I don't take. Like, I'm just raggedy, okay? I need to get my life together. I probably can't control my shedding. If I just treat my body right, you know what I'm saying? But just to keep it real for y'all, that's still, you know, what I'm dealing with. So then, I didn't, I, I, I had the postpartum shedding, you know what I'm saying? Then I went and I did a braidless sew-in. Around the same time my postpartum shedding started. So my braidless sew-in was at the end of July. That's right around the time my postpartum shedding was really, really bad. It had just started. Y'all, that was a complete nightmare taking it down. The braidless sew-in itself wasn't bad. Um... But the takedown, oh, beads got stuck. I had to like literally rip some of my hair out. It was just absolutely horrible. I remember the back of my head 
was just sore because I had to like pull beads out. It like thinned my hair out from all the hair that I lost. It broke my hair off from all the beads that got stuck and I had to, you know, yank on my hair. So I had a lot of breakage and thinning, I feel like due to that braidless sewing and especially during the time. I'm going through postpartum shedding, so I'm already shedding and then mixed with the braidless sewing, being in my hair for a whole month. Like it was just a hot, mess i feel like that's when i started noticing my hair just kind of going down down you know what I'm saying? it was it was slowly <laughs> but at that point i'm dealing with two things postpartum shedding and then the whole breakage and stuff from this takedown and then i just got a little heat happy okay i don't know what was on my mind but i was flat ironing my hair with 450 heat and i noticed that my hair was just starting to become more limp it was just like it just wasn't the same i just feel like when my hair is wet it's just like super like porous now like it's just limp it's not much like oomph to it so i definitely know that it is heat damage and i could tell when i was straightening it with 450 heat it would like smell burn that's a key flag right there <laughs> to let you know you burning your hair you're messing your hair up so Yes, I did heat damage my hair and over time of me putting more and more heat on my hair, I just feel like it got worse and worse. And I just started seeing my hair, you know, it was, it was going down that path, honey. My hair just started getting dull, dry, thin, like I wasn't really on top of my treatment. So girl, I was being raggedy this summer, okay? Like I wasn't doing protein treatments, wasn't really deep conditioning every week like I should. I was sleeping on my hair, not wrapping it, just out here wilding out all of this was during my stretch too y'all know i just stretched for five months and when you stretching honestly that's the most imperative time to be taking care of your hair because you get like when you dealing with two different textures you so much more prone to breakage because trying to detangle and trying to care for two different textures of hair it's tangly, it can it can become a mess really, really quick. So me not taking care of my hair to the best of my ability and then coupled with stretching and just, girl, it, it just, it got bad, okay? I'm trying to get my life together lately, but I don't know, I just feel like it's kind of too late. My hair is just, it went down that hill, okay? It went down the dang, dang, you know what I'm saying? It didn't really come back. So my last relaxer was November 5th, which was five days ago. Today is November 10th. And I feel like this relaxer day was really the starting point for me to like start off or start over really on a better foot. I did more research um, about my relaxer system, about the Mazzani products. I just had so much more like knowledge when it came to like my hair, relaxers and stuff. I just feel like right now I'm really ready to start like my healthy, relaxed hair journey. I feel like before I was kind of just winging it. Like I said, I wasn't really taking care of my hair. It's just time to start over now. I don't want to go back natural. I'm not trying to big chop or nothing like that. I just want to start over on my relaxed hair journey. So yes, girl, yes, I am breaking out the scissors and I am starting over. I'm cutting this off. I, I've been toying around with this idea after noticing my hair was just becoming worse. Uh, probably for like a good month is when I've been thinking about cutting my hair. I was trying to like just keep going with it. Y'all know I'm on a journey to waist length, but some, one thing about me though, like I don't want to have long damaged hair. Like I would rather cut it and get it right. I do want to grow my hair out, but for me to grow my hair out and be happy, I have to take care of my hair. So I definitely think this is necessary for me to start over and start with a huge cut and just do a whole transformation. And I feel like, like I said, I'm starting off on a better foot as far as my knowledge with my hair. I just know now more about relaxers than I did last year when I first decided to relax again. So I'm excited, I'm looking forward to it. It is bittersweet because honestly y'all, I'm about to show y'all my hair in a minute. We about to zoom in and get close. Cause some of y'all probably like, what is she even talking about? Cause my hair honestly doesn't look that bad like from a distance. And you know, when you see it as a whole, it doesn't look like it's damaged. But I'm about to, I'm about to show y'all. This side of my hair is going good. You know what I'm saying? I don't have an issue with the right side of my hair. My hair has always been like that. Um, I think I'm just now noticing it more recently, but my left side is always shorter than my right. Some things definitely have been helping me with growth. Like I honestly have no issue with growth. My hair has been growing so good. That's probably why it's a little bittersweet because my hair has been growing so good. I definitely have to credit that to my biotin serum. I love that stuff. My high frequency treatments, which has just, like my hair has been growing really good, but growing with damage is just like, I would rather not. This right here is what's been giving me second thoughts about cutting it because this side is just, it's, I don't have issues with this side of my hair, but when you get up and through here, mainly like in this back section of my hair, Oh my god, like girl, she is broke broke. 
Like not a dollar to her name broke. You see how thin, look how thin. And this is that same section. I definitely think it was from the braidless sewing because this is that same section where um, a few of my beads got stuck and I had to rip my hair out. And I can just tell that really like took a toll on my hair because girl, you can just, you can see stuff. You should not be able to see. This hair back here is just, every time I like, you see that? Every time I just comb it, I get depressed. Like, look at this. I don't want this. It's so thin, it's so raggedy. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see that hot mess? It's like my hair is kind of breaking off in the shape of a bob, which is the worst because it's like you got this healthy hair. It looks healthy like in the front, but then when you get to the back, it's like all bad. So yeah, I got a lot of breakage y'all. So yeah, I just want to really, really show y'all my hair. Look at that. Like, girl. Ew, it's just so bad. Like, oh my God, I hate it, hate it, hate it. And it's like all throughout the back section of my hair. So turn around so y'all can see my hair in the back. And this right section is just a little thinner and just, it's just damaged and I'm ready to cut it. I'm ready to get it off. Loki, this is a good time for me to cut my hair because I'm getting a little bored. So it'll be something fun to like have a new haircut and just, you know, look different, feel different, do something different or whatever. So yeah, that is where I'm at with my relaxed hair. I'm just, I'm looking forward to it though. At first I was sad, like I said, y'all, I've been thinking about this haircut for a good month, maybe a month and a half. I've been thinking about it for a while, but I'm not even like tripping about it i'm ready to cut it i'm ready to like start off for real on my healthy hair healthy relaxed hair journey i know i can do so much better than what i've been putting into my hair y'all know i'm raggedy you know what i'm saying i'll just be trying to change my life around but i'm really serious about this I'm, i really am and a part of my seriousness honey is my hair calendar like i'm gonna just start utilizing like a calendar so i can document when i do my relaxer days you know keep up on my deep conditionings on my protein treatments on you know what i'm saying just have it all together i'm just trying to be a little bit of a little you know what i'm saying i'm trying to be a little something something this is just a setback in my hair journey but we gonna you know what i'm saying we gonna correct this setback and we gonna move forward healthier better all that good stuff. I'll be cutting my hair towards like the end of this week. I honestly might cut it right after this video because like every time I run my hands through my hair like this, I'll be like, oh my God, where's my scissors? Like I just, I honestly can't wait to cut it. I've been procrastinating on this cut knowing I have to cut it. Like it's no, I was trying to see like if I could nourish my hair back to health, but after realizing like it's just the point of no return, like it's heat damaged, it's just really like just time to start over. <laughs> I cannot wait. So definitely sometime this week, I will be cutting my hair, doing my big hair transformation. So make sure to stay tuned for that. I don't know how short I'm gonna go yet. I don't really know what kind of cut I'm gonna do. I kind of got something in mind. I've been looking at like different pictures and stuff, but I don't know. We'll see, y'all see, I'll see, cause I don't even know girl. So we gonna see what we end up with. So make sure to stay tuned for the cut, y'all. I'm excited, I'm looking forward to not a new journey because this is my journey. I'm just trying to learn that journeys have ups and downs. You know what I'm saying? Journeys have setbacks. Journeys have like things that go wrong. Like you just continue on your journey. This don't mean you giving up. You know, I'm speaking a word, okay? This don't mean you losing the fight. It's just a setback. You deal with the setback the way you deal with it and you come back better, stronger, you know more. All of that. It's just, it's just better all the way around. So yeah, that is it. This is my first relaxed hair update. The first of many because I want to do more of these just to like, you know hold myself accountable check in or whatever we can chat about some relaxed stuff if y'all want to talk about some stuff i got some questions so i hope you here for it on this relaxed hair series thank y'all so much for watching if you enjoyed it make sure to give me a thumbs up comment down below and subscribe if you ain't subscribed okay so i will catch y'all in the next video next week honey next week end of this week she gonna be new she gonna be looking a little different okay so stay tuned i'll see y'all then